A high school baseball game in central Indiana had to be canceled this week because of a lack of umpires. Yeah, it's a nationwide problem, and as CBS 4 Zero Graves tells us, fans are a big part of the reason. Sad and heartbroken. That's what Fisher's head baseball coach Matthew Cherry tweeted out when they had to cancel a JV game Monday. We've never had anything canceled when it was sunny and dry and warm enough to play due to lack of umpires. The umpire shortage isn't just hitting high school baseball, though. You triple SA softball in Indiana is short about 100 umpires. And right now we are at 185 registered umpires. Tim Foster says part of the issue is the older generation leaving during the pandemic. They figured there was life away from softball on the weekends. Another issue, bringing in the next generation. They don't stay long because I think the newer guys don't have the the kids don't have the thicker skin. Which leads us to what the Indiana High School Athletic Association says is the biggest reason they can't keep referees around. Fan behavior, parent behavior. Across the country this past weekend, two incidences of violence against umpires have gone viral. In Texas, a coach caught on video shoving an umpire. In Mississippi, a parent arrested for punching a softball umpire in the face, leaving her with a black eye. There's not a place for that. Youth sports. Jerry and Foster have noticed the growing problem and know it has to stop. Coaches coach a game, parents cheer for your kids, and let the officials do their job. Treating umpires with more respect could go a long way to solving the shortage, as could getting more teens into refereeing. ISHAA is now offering a class in certain high schools that takes students through the certification. Falcon says his pitch is simple. You can go and flip burgers uh, for six or eight hours, or you can referee a soccer match for two and a half hours and make the same amount of money. Reporting in Fishers, Eric Graves, CBS 4 News. If you'd like to sign up to be a high school umpire, we have the links to start that process on our website, cbs4indy.com.